data from the printers, we need to install an agent or a, or a driver into the client side. That data will come into, into our, our manager here. Let's see the manager. Okay. So here we have the date and time of the last meter reading, client code, serial number, alias, in case, in case we want to add some alias here, model, printer model, black and color counters, and toner levels here. If we want more details, just double click on it. We will have here some other counters. We can uh, activate or deactivate uh, tunnel alarms or service alarms, and we can edit here client code, whatever. We can also change the threshold for the alarms, so the tunnel alarms. It's normally 20%, but you can change it. Here you can also change, uh, see, sorry, here is history of the printers. If you click on to the printer, on to the history tab, you will see here, you can select any date and you see meter readings and toner levels here. You can also export data, right click on it, export. Or you will have here the export reports like calendar from one day to another to your ERP or other reports here. You can also force a meter reading, the send counters. It will send a message to the driver and in the time lapse of 10 minutes it will have a, a new reading here. So this is an overview of the manager. You also will need to manage the toner alarms and service alarms. Here we have a, what we call it traffic light. At one, it's showing that we have one alarm here and one error message here. So let's open the message. Here we have one blank spot here. It means that uh, we didn't take care of that alarm. We have the details of the printer here. We have meter readings and yellow, uh, yellow color. If we right click on it, we have the extended grid. And when we click on it, we have some more details about that alarm and days since last uh, alarm, prints, real prints, the official page yelled. So that means they print a lot more than they should, so that's good news. And we also have the history of that printer here if you want to check it out. So let's click on send. We can also add here some comment if you want or uh, some tracking number and once you click on save you will see in a few seconds that the alarms go the traffic light goes into zero and turns uh, green if we also want to do the same with error messages or service alarms we have here a waste toner near full alarm we do the same we put it into send we put here some comment as well if you want to and if you have some tracking number, save it. And here we have also a green light in a few seconds. And okay, that's it.